Hey love, it's in Christ. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Maddie Matt. So today I'm just showing y'all my notes because normally with Bible study I just show my notes and read from them. And this message like just really touched me in church. And you know when the message hit, it's going to hit you too. So I wanted to share it with y'all. So let's dive into this message. So the title of this message is called How Much More? And the question within itself brings fear to our hearts. So uh, some relatable thoughts that I've written down. The first one is thinking where I asking yourself where you to be if you where would you be if you died right now? And I struggle with this myself and I'm pretty sure it's relatable. That's why I said relatable thoughts. So I find myself like waking up in the middle of the night or throughout the day I'm busy doing something and I'm just like wow. If I were to die right now, where would I be, heaven or hell? And it's scary. It's a scary question because it's like, we're sinful creatures. Christians sin too. Like, let's put that out there because if you're the Christian saying, I don't sin, you're lying. Like, you're sinning right now because you're lying to yourself in the world. Christians sin, everyone sins. So that question to us is like, we have to do more, which is my next point my next relatable thought which is trying to do more and that's where it draws me to the question why do we worry if we know god loves us so i'm gonna read from sir second corinthians 5 chapter 5 verses 20 through 21 and that reads now then we are ambassadors for christ as though god were pleading through us we implore you on christ's behalf be reconciled to god for he made him who knew no sin to be sin for us, that we might become the righteousness of God in him. And then I have a little passage that my pastor brought up, and I'm going to read it. It says, Hes Hesed, I think it says, Love is mercy, grace, kindness, loving kindness, or steadfast love. Ultimately, Hesed is deeply connected to the ancient world's concept of covenant or contract. It is a loyal love. It means to bind oneself to another and unselfishly seek the welfare of that person with unwavering loyalty and alliance. Allegiance, sorry. It is not turbulent, fickle motion, or warm, fizzy, fuzzy sweetness. Hesed is a fierce commitment that will not give up on the object of its love. So starting in Matthew 7, verses 7 through 12, and the title on my Bible is Keep Asking, Seeking, Knocking. Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and he who seeks finds, and to him who knocks it will be opened. Or what man is there among you who, if his son asks for bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will give him will he give him a servant serpent? If you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father, who is in heaven, give good things to those who ask him? Therefore, whatever you want men to do to you, do also to them. For this is the law and the prophets. So now we're going to head back over to my notes. God is the father who wants to give. God is loving in a way that's unbelievable, is what we get from those verses. So the next verse is going to come from Isaiah 49, verse 15, and it reads, Can a woman forget her nursing child and not have compassion on the son of her womb? Surely they may forget, yet I will not forget you. What we learn from Isaiah 49, 15 is God will never forget us. God will never forget you. So I don't know who needs to hear that verse, but that's just a reminder that God will never forget you. Next few verses comes from Romans chapter 8 verses 35 through 39. And the title is God's Everlasting Love. And it reads, Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or pearl, I think that's a, I think that's how you say it, or sword, as it is written, for your sake we are killed all day long, we are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. 
Yet in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities nor powers nor things present nor things to come nor height nor depth nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. On to Psalms 36, verses 6 through 7, and the title of this is Man's Wickedness and God's Perfections. And it reads, Your righteousness is like the great mountains. Your judgments are a great deep. O Lord, you preserve men, man and beast. How precious is your loving kindness, O God. Therefore, the children of men put their trust under the shadow of your wings. Romans chapter 8 for a final verse, verse 31, and that reads, What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? Now that's a classic verse right there. So to close, and this I put it as point two, but it's really point one. We need to be ambassadors. What are we talking about? What is this whole message talking about? that Jesus is for us, God is for us, and that God's love endures, endears forever. <laughs> Amen. Loves in Christ, this concludes my message for today. If this message impacted you or changed your mindset, please share with your friends, with your family, and may God bless you. Have a good week. All to thee, my